Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Doing another college week in my life. It is Sunday and it's two when I'm coming at you because one of my good friends from home, Corinne, was here visiting me for the weekend. And so I spent all day yesterday just hanging out with her. We ate, we hung out with some of my friends. She met my big and it was tons of fun but I did not edit any of my college week in my life. That usually goes up on today, Sunday. So I spent two and a half hours-ish in bed editing this morning and just kind of picking up the place. It's looking really empty in here because the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to be starting to pack up stuff to move out. I am moving out within the first two weeks of May. I'm not exactly sure yet. I still have finals. I still have tons of final projects. This week is going to be crazy busy. So I'm taking you guys along. We're going to be celebrating 50K. I hit that milestone last week. Thank you guys for all of your sweet messages and love. I've got a couple of final projects, pictures to take. It's supposed to finally be nice out. It's been like 40 for like the last week and it's finally supposed to be like 7580 so we are fueling up on some pesto pasta right now and then we are going to get working on today's blog post editing and planning out this next week okay so it's literally taken me all afternoon to get these posts live but i finally got my college week in my life published to youtube it takes forever to process now since they do that like new check system but just got it live and i am getting ready to go and respond to a bunch of your guys comments i so appreciate all of your sweet messages about hitting 50k and then i also just published my weekly wrap up which is where i share my outfits of the week and what i've been up to i link all of the blog posts that went up so if you need graduation dress inspo Mother's Day um, gift ideas or you want to you know see some new trends you guys can check that out a chiller week I didn't remember to take as many pictures but I had some fun ones once Corinne was here and I tried to link as many things that I was wearing for you guys to shop all right look who's here for dinner hi guys Allie I wore this cowgirl shirt last Sunday really in it's, white it's one of my favorites it is cute the little baby tea. tell them what you're here for I'm here for shrimp tacos, per usual. <laughs> per usual, I only can cook like three things. So naturally, Allie comes over once a week. Allie asked me to, to have dinner today, not the other way around. Usually I ask her to come over for dinner today. She asked if I wanted to have dinner with her, so I appreciate it. All right, so what we need, everybody, you need a mango, you need some shrimp, you need cilantro, and I'm also making the like little like avocado lime stuff. So I'm taking out an avocado, I'm taking out a jalapeno, because you need a jalapeno. That's like mushy, I hope it's good. Um, we need sour cream, and what else do you need for this dish? I always forget. Oh, limes. Limes. Okay, let's get started. Alrighty, we made shrimp tacos tonight, and I don't know how this cilantro avocado lime stuff's <laughs> gonna be. We we were bold and just put it on, so we'll see how it is, but just my usual. I'll try to leave the recipe linked down below. Fingers crossed it's good. Alright, what do you rate your meal? Um, 9 out of 10 because I didn't put enough shrimp on my taco. User error. I gave it a 9 error. too. It was much better than I thought it would be. Like when I was making all the stuff individually, I wasn't so sure. But the mango was like really good mango today. Mango was just kiss today. But it wasn't that good when I just like ate a no. bite of it outside. But it was good in the taco. And I have enough leftovers for lunch tomorrow. So, so we're ready to prelatives. Um, oh, next we have home. Best Big Little, Maddie Holub and Stephanie Frazier. Congrats, congrats. Had to use the picture that was on Alpha Phi International, <laughs> so love it. Congrats, y'all. Fave Manch Roomies. Okay, I came in here for chapter at Hello. 7. It is 10 o'clock and I'm leaving now because Griffith and I were just talking, we got real deep about love and relationships yeah. and childhood trauma all the good stuff and now yeah. my hair looks like this from laying on the couch so my i side part has made a reappearance it's reappearing for the day but we're partying now but we'll see each other for bagel sandwiches tomorrow morning but it is time for me to get back to work so Bye, viewers. Mwah. all right i just spent the last two ish hours editing my shein try on bikini haul that's gonna go live tomorrow and I also went through and edited all of the photos. And I also created a graphic for a giveaway that is going to be going live tomorrow. And then I just showered and I washed my hair. I exfoliated. I shaved. 
um, and it is 1.15 in the morning and I'm still up because I am being a very good friend and I am DDing for Mike tonight because um, he's out. So just kind of stalling, getting like random work related things done. I'm trying to link some stuff that's going to go up on the blog tomorrow. Um, and you know like I have random work to do so it's not like I'm just you know sitting around doing nothing so I've edited all of these photos and then I created the little three side by sides so I'm going into the like to know it app and linking each swimsuit because I like to share those to my stories the next day um, and just waiting for him to, to text me and say he's ready so yeah oh boy Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning now, and it is 9.15. I woke up about half hour ago, and I didn't go to bed until 3 o'clock, so I am exhausted this morning, but I told myself, like, I just need to get up and get this day going because I have so much to do today. So I am sitting in bed, and I'm continuing what I was working on last night, linking the stuff and getting all of the swimsuits in order, and then I'm going to get working on today's blog post, but I'm probably going to move out of bed to write the blog post. I just want to get like the rest of the stuff ready um to go live but yeah it was a fun night and I haven't seen Mike in like over a month um because baseball has been so busy but he's actually hurt now he pulled his hamstring and so he will be out for a remainder of the season probably and so he has a little more free time now but regardless he was out and I got to pick him up and get Taco Bell and just sit and talk for a little bit but anywho all right, let's get rolling. It's gonna be a full day. I've got a photo shoot at 3.30 and... All right, I just made the thumbnail and scheduled this YouTube video. I added the description, all the tags, linked everything in order and it is good to go. I also just sent a bunch of follow-up emails for some travel content. Guys, really fingers crossed that all this stuff works out for the summer. I need a hot girl summer. Also, does anyone else do this when they wear these like under eye things? They leave them on for like 45 minutes and they forget about it? Cause same. <laughs> tanned last night using the tanologist express mousse and then the face drops supernatural i always use the shade medium but now i need to rinse off I've gotten ready. I look significantly better now. Put some lashes on and I actually straightened my hair today. I almost never wear it straight for blog photos like ever because usually I hate my hair straight. But ever since I got my hair cut, I really like it straight. Like I like it a little bit better than curls because it's a blunt cut at the bottom. But regardless, I am going to outfit plan right now before I finish the rest of my blog posts, like blog kind of tasks for the day because it's making me anxious and I just want to pack my bag. So Olivia is going to help me today. She, you guys know Olivia, she was my roommate last year and my roommate for junior, senior year. And she's only helped me like two or three times the whole year, but she's free today and asked if she could help. So yeah, so we're gonna shoot these Franco Sarto shoes. I shot these a few weeks ago, but I didn't like the pictures. Like I just looked so bad in them. So I'm gonna do that. And then I got tons of Forever 21 goodies last week. So I think I'm gonna choose some pieces 
from this batch to shoot and it's really nice out too so okay so i have tons of new forever 21 goodies and i've got one two three four outfits that i'm going to shoot featuring some of those pieces what i think i'm going to end up doing is like calling this like spring essentials or spring basics you need we've got boyfriend jeans seamless tanks longer shorts converse two-piece sets and those franco sarto shoes i'm just going to like mix into these looks i'm not going to like create a separate blog post for them i just need to post an instagram photo so i've got one of the pairs in this two-piece set which is what i'm going to start off in and then one with this outfit that i actually wore last week that's super cute these are going to be three zaffle tops i think i'm just going to do like you know like spring trends or something i've got a pair of express jeans that i also need to post a photo in and like i said i'm not going to do a separate blog post for those i'm just going to kind of mix them in got a cute little white tie top and then this outfit right here featuring some older express sandals and another pair of express jeans and then these are featuring my new adidas so overall a good rack of outfits like a good set this is seven outfits i'm just going to get my hunter duffel bag which should be somewhere underneath my bed yep all packed up i've got my tote i've got my hunter bag and of course i've got that hat i swear every photo shoot i bring that little lulu's hat on and i it just put on the first outfit i've got about an hour before i have to leave but figured i would just sit in this so i don't have to change and i've got it on with those cute little white franco sarto shoes i love these because they have velcro along the sides so they're like adjustable they kind of remind me obviously of like a little kitty detail but they're so stinking comfortable like i could wear these for hours and they are the perfect heel height like just a couple of inches but super easy to walk into and i love white shoes they are my favorite for the summer because they really make your legs look just so tan so very cute this set is from Forever 21, like I said, and then my earrings are from Walmart. These are super old, and everyone always thinks they're Kendra Scott. I love them. Um, but yeah, ready to go. I also have to stop and get gas before. Oh, there's just no errand chore task i hate more than pumping gas like i literally i hate it um but my gas light came on yesterday so you know i had to get gas so i'm here 279 a gallon comment below what gas is where you are because that is ridiculous it's gonna cost me 40 dollars to fill up my tank 40 dollars. i want to literally cry like ah, uh, gas money is the worst over 40 dollars. bye bye this car gets the worst gas mileage too compared to my other one $45 are you kidding oh my god stop thank god good afternoon missy oh. <laughs> oh, that's a cute outfit. say hi hello Ooh. it's been a while since we've taken I'm pictures together but yeah just dropped live off we made decent time about 50 minutes for seven outfits which isn't bad especially because we haven't shot together in a while so it kind of takes some time to get back into the groove but my car is a disaster this is always what it looks like after i shoot i sit on the left side um change and throw everything to the right so now i've got to shove everything back into this bag Emily was in a vlog and she was so nervous and scared and now she has fans fans do I fans know? people that miss her guys leave us leave us questions down below before we leave we'll film like a little Q&A segment just in a vlog something super casual of a roomy moment because I feel like we don't we, we don't really like we hang out all the time in person when you're here but like not on camera yeah but what do you guys want to know about Emily and I? Let us know. <laughs> we'll answer soon. Okay, what do you have to show me? Wait, this What's so funny? <laughs> this is so funny. I don't even care if you laugh. Watch this. Oh, you know Hair by Chrissy, right? Yeah, kind okay. of. I don't watch her videos, but I hear about them all the time. <laughs> okay, so she does really good hair. <laughs> watch this. So that looks awful, right? And you're like, oh, okay. They're gonna, it's gonna be good at the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> she looks so pissed. That was so She's like bad. four. <laughs> that was literally so bad. <laughs> Every 
everybody's commenting like this has to be a joke. Like, well, you just said this is the last KFC bowl of the year. Huh? Retweet if you're crying, Emily. Are you crying? I am. I sound kind of good right there. She said, guys, comment below. Do I sound good right <laughs> Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> going to Dairy Queen right now because uh, Cart came over to eat dinner. Shocker, he's in love with me. Hello <laughs> <laughs> <Not> everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. He's one of my good friends and he lives um, on his own now, not in the dining hall. <laughs> not in the dorms. <laughs> not in the dorms. So he doesn't eat dining hall food so like he doesn't want to cook so I just feed him um, some nights but Anyways, hung out with him for an hour. I tried to write today's blog post and it just was not, you know, it's been two and a half hours of me trying to get it done. And if I'm being honest, my brain capacity is just dead and I'm so tired because I stayed up till frickin' 3.30. So naturally, we're combating that by going to Dairy Queen right now with this $5 gift card. Taylor, if you're watching this, you are the sweetest. She sent this to me today and it said, she said, congrats on 50K, enjoy a blizzard on me, celebrate soon, cause she's away this weekend. So she sent me this so we can celebrate. So Emily and I are going to Dairy Queen and I'm so excited to procrastinate some more. And this is your reminder guys to stop taking college and everything so seriously, be a little spontaneous, go get a blizzard, spend $5 because you will make $5 back in your life or you'll be gifted it, which is even better. And, <laughs> and, and to just, you know, like, Blog posts can be done on other days, but like these moments, you just don't give back. True. You just, you know, Emily leaves for good I won't be here. in six days and we'll never live together again in college. Which is sad Let's and depressing. That. So, and what we're doing is we're just going to get Dairy Queen to feel bad about ourselves. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. <laughs> I swear the people at the Kent's location of Dairy Queen have never used a gift card before. <laughs> I'm, it really wasn't their fault. They told me that this gift kind of gift card can't be redeemed here, so don't look at the number and redeem it yourself. But <laughs> <laughs> a little gift I'll, have, I'll have used it by the time this video goes up, I'm sure. They said I have to go to a participating location. Like, it's an online gift card. It says redeem here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Thanks, Em. Okay, so she got me on this, like, okay, we both love the Summerberry Cheesecake, and they don't make it because it's not hot out, so we asked for Strawberry Raspberry Cheesecake Blizzard. So good. I have to turn my car off because gas is fucking freaking... Because <laughs> gas is... <laughs> gas is 279. We, have to... <laughs> we don't got bread like we, that. We got... Okay, let me have the live taste test. <laughs> We're on like crack right now. I hope yours is good. Mine's really good. Mmm. Tasty. I like it with the raspberries. Mm hmm Our last word. These might be our last words, <laughs> but we're recording it. Take us out. Okay, what do you rate your ice cream? Um, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight, too. It needed to be a little tartar. They needed more cheesecake. They never they give enough. They skimp at this location at the bottom. Do better, Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the moon. That looks so cool. Talking to the moon. All right, guys. I didn't finish this blog post yesterday because, if I'm being honest, I was procrastinating and lazy and just not on my grind. But, oh well. I sat in bed and got this live this morning. Took me about an hour. It's 9.45 right now. So, if you guys watched my last She in Bikini haul and you want to find pictures to everything you want to shop find my coupon codes sizing info shipping all that jazz in one place all you have to do is head to the blog and you'll find these details it's stylebymckens.com if you've never checked it out i leave it linked down below in every single one of these just so you know um but yeah just wrapped that up 
now it's time to get ready. Okay, y'all, finally gonna be nice out today and I am so excited. I've got on a cute little sage green t-shirt dress from Forever 21 and then I've got on frilly socks, also from Forever 21, my platform converse. This purse is from Shein. My br necklaces are from Ana Luisa, rings are Ana Luisa, bracelets are Ana Luisa, and then my earrings are from Shein. Super cute, I'm just so excited that it's finally nice out because your girl has needed some sunshine after last week. Um, I am about to head out and get my second dose of the vaccine, so let's go. Not even bleeding. Just got my second vaccine. This one has gone so fast. I got here at 11, it's 11.06, and I'm already in my like 15 minute waiting period. Um, so yeah, in two weeks you're technically then considered fully and I'm hoping that this time I feel better because last time I really did have like every symptom. I got Moderna. Yay. Alright, 15 minutes are up. Time to go home. I'm in the study room because I've got hella schoolwork to do today. I, if I'm being honest, have been like pushing everything off to today because to me I'd rather just like sit and do homework for seven hours straight than you know do three each day like i'd rather just get it all over with so i've got a project for my fashion apparel analysis class i also have class at two i have a marketing lecture and extra credit assignment to complete i have a paper to rewrite for my media messages class it's not like fully rewriting it it's just that she's giving us the opportunity to earn some points back so i'm going to do that and then i also have a discussion board post and another like little quiz to take for that class and all kinds of random things to get done today because this is my final week of class. So I just finished up this project for my fashion apparel analysis class. We've been working on this for several weeks now and it's split into a bunch of different parts. So this is part three. You guys know that we are doing jeans and I've been doing express. So I had to go and find different quality points and positive and negative reviews and what those reviews are on. So almost everyone says they love the quality, but a lot of people have experienced issues with their credit card and with all these other... Um, um, things related to their rental services. Those tended to be the issues that people had the most. And then we had to go and find the top fabrics. So most of their items are made from cotton and spandex and we had to find the countries of exporters for those and where denim is made most often. And then find two different sources and kind of talk about whether or not they are doing a good job of transparency on the back end. All right, logging into my final apparel analysis class efficacy on the first dose was enough how important is it to get a second dose if you only get one shot you might not be protected against all the so for my fundamentals and media messages class this week we had a TV discussion board so basically what we had to do was watch a ton of nightly news. So I had to watch for three days straight. I chose April 24th, 25th, and 26th. So the last three days, about 25 minutes um, each episode. And NBC is who I typically watched at home. So I just, that's what I chose. You could also watch a couple of other networks. And then we had a discussion board. So we had to talk about the scope of the stories, two major stories, and their news values, how it reflected the coverage and stuff. So this, like these four paragraphs were my actual actual discussion board post and then these were the notes that I took throughout those episodes so I just submitted that and then we also had to write a couple of different responses okay Holy cow, you guys, it is five o'clock and it's because I have spent like the last hour playing phone tag and sending emails because I check my email pretty much all day, every day. Like I, you know, like sit there and refresh my email like every 20-ish minutes. And guys, I am going, I, oh my God, I am working with the hotel. I have talked about this 800 times, how excited I am to kind of be like moving in this avenue and how hard I'm working. And Devin and I tried to go to Hawaii and that didn't work. And then we're playing around with a couple of other things. And while I was home for spring break, literally two weeks ago in my vlog, I said my goal is to just stay at one hotel this summer. And I, I just, <laughs> I am going to be in Nashville this summer. Um, not even this summer. Like, I'm moving home a little bit earlier to make sure that I can make this collab work. But I am going to be staying at a newer hotel. I'm not going to give out too many details yet because, you know, 
like safety reasons and everything you know I'm waiting for things to be finalized but Devin and I will be traveling somewhere in May holy cow I was like really just hoping for one trip but I have a feeling that this is gonna open so many doors and really just be a turning of age I oh my gosh I'm so excited guys and at 19 years old we're making it happen hot huh, girl summer baby okay so I just hope that this makes things spiral like I hope that I can go other places and see parts of the world and share my experiences with you guys and encourage you and show you that you can travel um, affordably and efficiently and safely even during COVID especially because I will be fully vaccinated my two weeks will be up by the time I go um, and the CDC said you know if you're fully vaccinated after two weeks um and you still are socially distanced wearing a mask all that jazz then you know two thumbs up they gave it the green light so i'm excited guys i i cannot believe this is real life okay but i have to be a student first and i have to finish off these next two weeks really strong so we're gonna book our flights to nashville because we're doing this baby <laughs> we're literally doing it after all of our hard work here manifesting Manifest the shit out of your life. Life's too short. Anywho, now I am running over to the grocery store real quick. I need to pick up a couple of cookie cakes for my 50K celebration tomorrow. So hopefully they can write something fun on them. Okay, they had one with nothing, no writing on it, which is just what I wanted. I'm hoping that they can write 50K on this. And then I hope that they have a second one in the back. If not, no worries, I'll just grab one. All right, was able to get two. One says congrats, one says 50K. She did a really good job on this one. Um, but yeah, let's go home. Time for a walk. It's 7.15, so we are time for me to be cooking dinner, but I am making tacos. I'm gonna have it in like a little taco bowl form tonight just because I had the shrimp taco for lunch, but I wanted to update you guys that I am starting to feel kind of gross from my vaccine, I think. Um, I just feel really achy and like my skin's kind of sensitive to the touch, which is how I felt last time, but I just woke up feeling like that. I got my vaccine a little bit earlier this time, um, so I'll keep you guys posted how I feel throughout the night. Just figured I'd let you know. We got back from our walk. We just did like a little mile around the loop. Um, and now I'm gonna eat. It looks like poop, but I promise it's good. I wish I had salsa, but I don't right now. And it also looks a little different because I don't have beans, but you know what? Lazy girl cheap college meal right here. A little post-dinner editing session. I've got to get this Katomi Collective try-on haul over to them tomorrow. So it is a processing right now to YouTube. And I should be able to add links and send this over by the morning. I just showered and washed my hair. And now I am... Whoa! Getting our midnight snack ready. I am headed downstairs with Griffith and Emily to sit on the big the big couch and watch on the big TV. We are watching Cruel Summer that is like premiering on Freeform. I love watching weekly TV and they came out with like that new show and it looked so good in the TikTok ad I saw that of course I had to watch it. So I watched the first two episodes last week and now we're gonna watch it every week when it premieres at 10. I mean, we only have a couple weeks left, but. Cruel summer, look at us. This is our first real, this is more than a bachelor night. Hey Dad, good news, problem's not that It is going to be a busy day. I feel um, exactly how I look. Not great. Um, I feel better than I did my first vaccine, but I did still wake up at like 2.30, um, shaking, like absolutely freezing, and then I would be sweating. My body just like ached, um, but I was able to fall back asleep. Like I took a couple of Tylenol when I woke up in the middle of the night, and within like 30 minutes, I was able to fall back asleep. So better than the last time. My body, it feels like very sore right now but I don't feel awful. My skin's still a little sensitive to the touch, but besides that, I don't feel terrible, which is good because I have a very busy day. I just added the description and the tags to today's try on haul and set this to premiere at noon. All right, time to record our final and get this class over with. I think as far as like impacting a future like professional career, it makes you want to be more conscious and ask those questions when you are in that interview process, whatever, because if you, it, and you're right, you might not get an answer when you ask those kind of things, but if your employer, if your boss doesn't know the answers to those questions, that is an answer in itself. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
I love them, but we're healthy eaters here. We're eating organic. We're getting down to the last few bagel sandwiches here. Hi, my studious <laughs> worker. You're the best. <laughs> All right, finishing up yesterday's marketing lecture. My computer ended up dying and it was time for me to get on a call, so I didn't have time to finish it yesterday. We're talking about personal selling and sales management right now. Not as interesting as the social media campaigns and stuff that we were doing last week, but oh well, only one more lecture after this one, so Thursday it's it. Time to hop on my Grubhub call. All right, I just got off my Grubhub call and I'm going live right now while I get ready for the day just because, I don't know, I feel like I've been kind of out of touch on Insta, so figured I would do this, but let's do our makeup. I literally sat on live for an hour just chatting with you guys and getting ready. It felt so good. I love being personal like that and I really want to do more of that. Um, it's a little bit easier for me once it's summertime, obviously, just because I have more time. But fingers crossed we can make that happen. I used to go live every Friday night at 8. I'm hoping that in the summer I can like find a time to do it every single week again. But regardless, um, I did that and then I filmed like a 45 minute Q&A because I have a sponsored video with Skillshare and just because I was in the mood to film a Q&A. And I also got dressed today. I'm wearing this dress from Princess Polly. It came yesterday and it's a little tight in the chest like I'm gonna really have to like suck in but it's so cute and then I'm wearing earrings from Walmart and I'm gonna wear it with like little slip-on mules probably these pink ones that came from Shein yesterday and then for Dusty I'm going to change into my black boots and my hat later tonight but for dinner and for the sake of pictures I'm gonna wear the pink shoes but anywho just figured I'd give you guys the little scoop and also um, Emily helped me set up this little backdrop this was six dollars from target if i can find it i'll leave it linked down below and then i got two little 50 balloons from the dollar store super cute figured we would just have something fun to take pictures on my ring lights here cute right. la teresa yep. for dinner krista's here lauren's here and you guys haven't seen annie in a while mm. give her love <laughs> hello everybody hello. All right, we're waiting on our food. Everyone just ordered a quesadilla or a taco. We're really lame, guys, you know? It is. <laughs> it is but they, everything here is really cheap, which is why people love it. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Say something. Uh, <laughs> this is our waiter, Angel. We have him every week every at La Teresa. He is our him. favorite. You La Teresa, it is in Kent, Ohio. Ohio. If you're in Kent and you're and at La Teresa, her. request Angel. Angel. He what? is the best. Tell him, tell him we Tell him we sent you. He's here six days a week. <laughs> there we go. Here's my cakes. Congrats that the girl kind of, you know, she she put a lot of she thought tried. into she it. She tried hard she though. She tried. Say she hi everybody. Hi. Colin's here, Liv's here, Annie's here. Big mm -hmm. moments. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it's the party in this bitch. <laughs> It's really just us, guys. Oh, I'm scaring you a little bit. I'm scaring more because we're about. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody! <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Liv. Hi, Ken's. Um, congratulations on 50K. I am so proud to say that we were friends before YouTube was literally even a thing, and it has been so humbling to watch you grow and watch it start from literally a few hundred people to now 50,000. I may be older than you, but I definitely look up to you as a role model. I'm so proud of the way that you just bust out everything every single day. You are so motivated, you work so hard, and I hope you know that me and all 50,000 of your subscribers know that, and it does not go unnoticed. I love you, bye. Okay, hi Mackenzie. I hope you're so excited to be seeing this right now. I just want to let you know that you are the cutest, most amazing person I've ever met. And I am so grateful that I'm honestly even, not even that you're my big, but just that I even have you like in my life in general. Like you are such a blessing. You are so smart, so creative. Like I'm just so excited to keep seeing where you keep on going. Like it's unbelievable to me that literally May of, not even last year yet, you only had 10K like subscribers. Like this is bizarre to me. 
it's so cool for me to tell people like oh my god yeah that's my big like you you're just so awesome i'm excited to see what else you can do and i love you so much and i'm not good at this but i love you <laughs> mackenzie if i could be one person mm -hmm. other than myself abby abby it would be you because your hard work your effort your <laughs> drive your drive your time management skills your responsibility <laughs> things all, all things i lack you excel in <laughs> And I love you, and I am so glad you're my little. And Hannah's so glad that I'm so glad you're, you're alive. That she's your big's best friend, so that she could be part of it too. I love watching you grow and you flourish. Hi, Mackenzie. Okay, so basically, you. I just want to cry, thinking that I'm never gonna live with you again, but. You are such an inspiration to me, and even though I don't always tell you, I look up to you so much, and you are such a, an amazing role model, honestly, for not just me, but everybody, and you work so hard, more than anybody knows, and you're just amazing, and I'm going to miss seeing your cute face every day, and I just love you more than anything in the whole world. All right. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. Here's what I'm wearing today. Something casual because it's gonna be a really busy day. I've got a lot of schoolwork to do. And I need to edit a video. And so my set's from Forever 21 and my hoodie is from Boohoo over top. Logan's still here. Logan, how'd you sleep? I slept so good. Everyone I still that's... have half my outfit on on top. Everyone but... that sleeps in that bed says it's so comfy. That was the most comfortable bed, but she gave me no sheets on the bed. <laughs> there's, a, there's no bottom sheet. There's no it. bottom sheet, so I'm like, I'm touching it. I was like, I thought it was like a fancy sheet, but it was just a zipper. I don't know. It was it just was. the mattress. Um, <laughs> but she, don't worry, she ended up sleeping on the sheet. But we had a lot of fun at Dusty last night. Um, I met a subscriber there, which was cool. I didn't get her name. She didn't say, but if it was you, thank you for saying hi. And it was just, we called it early. We, like, I think we went to bed. Logan and I got back here, like, at, what, like 11.30? Yeah, wasn't that late. Not even 11.30, but we stayed up until, like, 1 talking. But regardless, um, it was a successful day. Heart feels full. Excited to go back and watch everyone's messages. I was, like, taking a peek at Griffith's and Cart's yesterday, and I accidentally deleted it because Griffith had, like, taken a bunch of pictures. And I thought that I was deleting one of the pictures it was like of her face like this. And then I accidentally deleted their video, but I did get the chance to listen to theirs. So thank you guys, love you. Um, but yeah, successful day, feeling loved. So Logan ended up staying till like 12, 12.30ish. We had chicken patties downstairs for lunch um, and her, Emily and I just kind of sat and chatted. A bunch of girls are starting to move out of the house this weekend and stuff. So everyone's just kind of been in a really chill, chatty mood. But after she left, I came up to the study room. It is a really chill, dreary, rainy day here. So I've just been sitting in this comfy chair First thing I did was edit the Q&A that I filmed yesterday. It was about 45 minutes of footage and I got it down to about 31 minutes. Like I said, this was a sponsored video, so I went and submitted that for approval. And then I kind of pulled up the last of my assignments for school. So the first thing that I did was take a quiz for my Fundamentals of Media Messages class. This is the last quiz, thankfully, and I actually got an A on it, finally. I usually don't do the hottest on these, so I was really happy about that. And now I am about to hop into a inverted pyramid, like, rewrite for my Fundamentals of Media Messages class. I just cannot wait for this to be over. I have three more assignments. Ignore the X's on my hands from last night. I have three more assignments for this class and then I am done free from it. However, before I hop into that assignment, I wanna show you guys my visual design and media project. We are working on like an Instagram series um, and we could do this through Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, we could do it through Canva. So I just decided to do it through Canva and it still took me like a good hour and a half just to find everything and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet. I don't know, something about each slide is just like sitting a little off with me, but we have a critique tomorrow and she's gonna give um, us her feedback and so hopefully I will get a better idea this is only five points like the draft is only ever five points the big grade is the final submission so. 
Say hi, Nat. Hi. <laughs> touch your toes, Lauren. Comment below, can you guys touch your toes, Morgan? Show them your toes. None of these people can touch their toes. Oh, there she goes. I have been torn. The whole meal overall was probably like a second because the noodles just didn't go. Morgan? I thought the butter noodles were great except for that. Probably 9 out of 10. A 9? But I didn't have a Maddie, what do you give dinner? Um, I'd say an 8.5. Like, like, no yeah. Katie? Yeah. <laughs> A three? A three? I think I've been poisoned. <laughs> no, I just have heartburn all of a sudden. I look like this. I forgot. Lauren <laughs> is here because I'm helping her with her project. What class is this? Product, product development. development. Okay, I'll be taking this next semester. <laughs> and I love helping Lauren with this class because it's really interesting. This is so cool to learn about to me because it's all the things you do in all the classes Make it put pay. together. And I see a lot of these kinds of charts and stuff with different brands I work with. So her and her group had to put together a mood board, a trend board, and then they had to do the style sheets and cost sheets. So when I pick out um, things from brands, a lot of times I will get the line sheets because they're pre like done products. So this is their entire line and they have three style sheets, three cost sheets. And then they're talking a little bit about a marketing plan and designing something that's going to get people in the store and using the app. So basically blog life plus school life comes full circle in projects like this, which is cool. So they did all in motion for Target, which is fun. Just figured I'd show you guys some behind the scenes I of what other people, this. what other people do in this class. Or whatever you had for your, like think about using for your first slide. And then in the last one, you could be like something back to that summer idea of like having normalcy in your life. All right, if you know me, you know each month I like to sit down and really just give a real raw brain dump to the blog. So I'm recapping my month. I'm talking all kinds of favorites, sharing some outfit of the days, fashion faves, some beauty treatments that I received, a little bit of entertainment. I always share my top five favorite songs from Spotify that month too, and I always link my Spotify, sharing my April reflections, my May goals and manifestations, some goals and things that I wanna achieve that month. Life lately, what's been up, some super cute pictures. Here's Cart and I um, recapped my little spring break, and then I tagged the 13 blog posts that were published this month. So I will leave this link down below if you guys wanna check it out and really just catch up with it. Just heated up some leftover talk Taco Bowl from the other night. I've got Tostitos and I'm watching this week's episode of All American since I haven't watched it yet. Okay, I'm on Instagram live again today. I just got ready and did my makeup and while I let my hair air dry a little bit, we are going to chat on live while I fold my laundry because it sounds fun. The reason why I mention Austin over like other places in Texas is just because Jenna Palak, who you might know from TikTok, she posted a viral TikTok and got a job at she got a job there. She um, went to Kent. We were in the same sorority. She's actually one of my good friends, Big. So I know her pretty well. And she lives in Austin. What self-tanner do you use? Tanologist is my favorite. I use a couple. I love the Jergens Wet Glow for something like Supernatural. All right, guys, I put away all my laundry and wrapped up that live. I've just been in such a chatty mood recently. Not necessarily like a vlog chatty mood, but like, a live Q&A kind of mood. So I sat on live for, excuse me, a little over an hour. And I am of course wearing a sweatsuit from White Box. You guys know me, I wore this one literally every day for weeks. Um, and it's so cold outside today. It's really, really gross and like 40 degrees and the baseball game is at night. So um, I think I might just end up wearing this, throwing on some sneakers and stuff. I literally look ridiculous right now, but oh well, I just don't care. I'm just not in the mood to get dressed or really to do anything, but it's 2.54. I've got about an hour and 45 minutes before I have to leave. So I'm going to force myself to do my marketing lecture. I did not have time to do it yesterday. Time period, what's the game plan? How will we implement all of this to accomplish recruitment and selection objectives? What's the scope, what's the timing of recruitment and selection? Uh, here's one example of how long it takes and what it takes to get from the initial announcement I'm dumb and totally didn't even realize that we didn't have a quiz this week. The last one was last week, so cheers to that. Just wrapped up 
the entirety of this course 308 pages done today we talked about salaries and the ways that people are hired in sales and it was really interesting i feel like no one really tells you about the hiring process but it was so interesting to learn about i've got studying to do because this exam opens up next thursday i'm planning on taking it like either thursday friday it's open until tuesday but i want to just get it over with so next week's going to be full of studying but as of right now i'm just happy to be done with this class and check that off the list i haven't called devin in like three days so i had to call her no it's been two 40 it hasn't even been 48 hours but i just saw her story and i was like i should talk to her so i made myself a chicken tender wrap and some tater tots with chick-fil-a sauce before i go to the baseball game okay someone asked what's in my purse in my last week in my life which i think is so funny because literally the only thing in my purse are two mini waters almost at all times some of them are half drinking like and i'll drink it like three weeks later and then i keep two masks a pen and this that used to be on my keys that's disgusting it's a chapstick and a pepper spray my keys and then i'm packing snacks for baseball i'm bringing albany gummy bears something sweet i'm also bringing these rainbow twizzlers that mike's mom got me a while ago that i have yet to eat because we just haven't had baseball at home in a while I always like to have gum in my purse like 24 7 but i don't have um any right now so new pack from extra and then i bring a couple of goldfish i try to bring like whatever a few um just because if it's not for me like Liv and her friend sometimes want some sometimes some of the gymnasts want some and then i always bring this thing of popcorn some days i'll bring a protein bar i'm not bringing a protein bar because i just kind of ate like a not really a dinner but like kind of a snack like i don't really know and then today i'm gonna bring my purse to the game i mean my purse my computer to the game i don't really know if i'm gonna use it but i figured since like mike's not playing and i know cart's not pitching i might not pay as much attention today um so if i need to get any work done look at how bad the lighting is in here that is one thing i will not miss about this apartment but that's all i don't keep a lot in my purse i never have never will baseball vibes we're playing ou today and it is Bottom of the sixth already, 2-1. We are losing, but little Michael's up to bat, so I figured I'd vlog for him. He struck out earlier. Well, someone stole second, so that's good. Get there, get there, get there. Get there. Okay, I was on a straight hair kick at the beginning of the week, but now I am back on my curly hair grind. This is my curling iron, the T3. I use the one and a quarter inch barrel, I think it is. Yes, it's a little bit smaller. Um, my hair is starting to grow a little bit, so my curls are looking a little more normal. Still not my favorite length, but oh well. Okay, I sat down to film my Zaffel bikini haul. Um, I filmed the try on already. I just needed to film the sit down and I just hated my appearance like I looked at myself and was like I just am not feeling it like I'm just not so what I'm going to do is I got dressed I'm wearing a tank top from forever 21 my jeans are from express they're just little cropped flares then I've got a cardigan on from TJ Maxx I'm gonna sit down and work on my school assignment and just get that over with today and then I'm gonna self tan and shower tonight and just feel much better about my appearance tomorrow and i'm gonna film the zaffel sit down and my princess polly try on and sit down all tomorrow and just have one big filming morning okay, i've been putting off this assignment for my media messages class for days now writing a tv news script and honestly i just sat down and i was able to knock it out in about an hour and 15 minutes it's really not that much writing like as you can tell it's just one page 250 words but she gave us like three different documents like it explaining all the different things that go into it creating a new script and examples and all the different terminology that we haven't necessarily learned yet so it took me a while to kind of go through this and really look at what she was wanting to see like what she was looking for um, and then I went through and edited it and just submitted that I have one last final project for this class and then I'm done, and I couldn't be happier about it. Hey, right, time to run to baseball. Let's hope it's not super chilly out today. Nah, 
kind of feels like a good little in between. Go, go, go! Yeah! Way to go, Sam! <laughs> Liv hooked me up with this. It's good cattle corn today. Liv, where's this from? The farmer's market. Oh, hi, guys. It's delicious. It is bottom of the fourth. Wait, no. Yeah. 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 Now, Betty, here, Golden Flash is today's catcher, number 11, Sam Johnson. All right, I got Sam's last home run, so here we go. Do something good. Do it again, Sam! Come on, Sam, Sam hits a home run right here, I'll buy him dinner. Not a home run, but it'll do. There you go, Sam. Yeah! Way to go, little Michael. Come back, come back. Come on, a lot of green. There you go. Yeah! So I'm good luck is what I'm hearing. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Yeah! There you go, Sam! Alrighty, first win of the day. 10 to four. Comment below if your anemic friends are psychotic and order cups of ice everywhere they go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying the mango tango from Alrighty guys. Carts pitching, game two. He had a good first inning. Ended with a strikeout. So let's hope he does well. Ball. Come on, little Michael. We really need Kevin to get a hit right here. Sad loss, everybody. But we'll see you tomorrow. I'm home from the baseball game. Um, and I've already changed to my White Fox set because it is freezing in our red room. <laughs> or in our apartment right now. I got a package and it's from my queen, Lore. I absolutely love Lore. She's in that YouTube group and she has got this baby taped. She just released some merch and she asked just for my address for a surprise package so I'm guessing that's what it is thank you Mackenzie I hope you enjoy this crew neck as much as I do thank you so much for helping me share my story with the world your support is helping millions of people get assistance and access to mental health resources I love you until tomorrow sunset lore and she has this whole little thing about um what until tomorrow sunset means to her she shares a lot of it over on her Instagram and stuff and she's just the sweetest soul in the whole entire world um and I got a little bracelet that says until tomorrow's sunset and Laura's name on the other side. But I'm so excited for the hoodie! She got them embroidered and they're so cute. Look at it. It says until tomorrow's sunset with a little smiley face. So cute. Look. That is really cute. Isn't that cute? I got a size medium because I figured that would be pretty equivalent to the size of my white fox sweatshirts that I wear 24-7. Love you, Laura. Always here for you. One of my best YouTube friends in the whole world. And she just has a heart of gold. So, ready to rep her. I'll leave the merch link down below. Because I do believe you guys can buy it as well. I don't think it was just sent to her friends. So, thank you, baby. I'm making dinner right now. And I make the same three things. Sue me. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. And, like, I had a little bit of pasta left. Some shrimp, I had one lime left, so we're making some pasta, shocker. Cheers, cheers. No fresh cilantro today, so it looks a little different, but I'm about to sit here and gossip with my friends. <laughs> the only it's thing, it's just you talking. Have, <laughs> no, if you have the facts, it's not gossip. <laughs> I just saw a TikTok about it. 
We're about to go to Taco Bell. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this nonsense, guys. Emily got roped into driving to Akron. You know, a couple of girls needed a ride to the bars. She, her car starts to overheat. 10 minutes later, Lauren calls me and says, Mackenzie, I need you to drive me to Akron. Me and a couple of friends. Meanwhile, I'm stuck Meanwhile, on the side of the road. Meanwhile, she's stuck on the side of the road. My car, tire pressure light comes off five minutes into the drive. <laughs> so I need to go get air in my tires. But now, Emily and I, okay, I just edited for like 30 minutes. And we are like peeing our pants laughing at this video. I feel like I show a lot of my life. But this video has been something else of just like me and my friends just... I feel like I've really captured how much fun we have together in this video. And, um, you know, I'm taking my advice from Monday where we went and got Dairy Queen and said to just live a little. And we're going to Taco Bell right now. Taco Bell, baby! We don't have to Taco This is just our anthem at this point. Our anthem! Alright, we're headed home. The unboxing. Ew. Your little balls. Oh, one fell out. Mike was obsessed with these little Cinnabon delights the other day, so I got them. I'll let you know how they are. Quesadilla. Ew, it looks gross. This is so. What'd you get? I got a um, potato Rito. They're on the dollar menu, they're just so good. If you know, you know. And then I got a Crunchyroll Supreme. And she got the Baja thing. I'm accepting defeat, guys. It's 12.30, and this vlog is just not gonna get edited before I go to bed. <laughs> it's just not. I'm not staying up until two. I'm gonna do it in the morning. I would rate my Taco Bell. Be careful what you say. I'd probably rate it a three. <laughs> <gasps> I can't imagine ever wanting that just, just because. You're a liar. It was nothing special, so overhyped. Mike, the Cinnabon Delights suck. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all for this week's Week in My Life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I really do love my friends so big. I just watched all their messages um, back because I was editing that part of the vlog. And I love them to death. I'm so lucky to be loved by you guys. Um, and yeah, thank you for your sweet messages. Talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye.